Plusieurs centaines de combattants de l'armée syrienne libre, appartenant à des groupes salafistes et takfiristes distincts, ont convergé vers le bourg d'Altal le 20 juillet dernier. La plupart n'étaient pas syriens. Quelques habitants, favorables à la démocratie, les ont accueillis, pensant partager les mêmes objectifs. Les combattants ont attaqué le commissariat et fait prisonnier les policiers dont certains ont été blessés. Ils n'ont accepté de transférer à l'hôpital que les fonctionnaires sunnites et ont refusé que les autres soient soignés. Rapidement, le nouveau conseil révolutionnaire d'Altal imposa une loi sectaire. La population fuit à la ville, à commencer par les gens qui avaient accueilli la SL en rêvant aux promesses occidentales. Les combattants prirent en otage une trentaine de civils, y compris une équipe de télévision d'Alakbaria accourue sur les lieux, puis ils se retranchèrent dans le bourg. Les otages furent dispersés dans des bâtiments différents et déplacés chaque jour. Alors que les combattants espéraient créer sur place un émirat islamique, le Conseil révolutionnaire, commandé par un déserteur syrien, fut informé d'une attaque imminente de l'armée nationale. Dans une vidéo, il menaça de tuer les journalistes et exigea la levée des barrages autour du pour pour pouvoir fuir. Ne parvenant pas à obtenir satisfaction, il reçut l'ordre par téléphone satellite de déplacer sa troupe vers une autre localité. Dans la nuit du 15 au 16 août, 500 à 700 hommes, emmenant avec eux leurs otages les plus précieux, sortirent en file indienne à travers la campagne. Lorsque soudain, plusieurs fusées éclairantes illuminèrent le ciel, permettant à l'armée nationale d'ouvrir le feu et d'éliminer plus de 200 djihadistes en quelques minutes. Yara Saleh, journaliste d'Alakbaria détenu depuis six jours, eut le réflexe de se jeter à terre pour se protéger. Les autres otages restés emprisonnés dans le bourg furent retrouvés au matin et libérés. Voici le témoignage de Yara Saleh, recueilli quelques heures plus tard. Uh, Yara, how they abduct you with your TV team? We were going to Al Tal city uh -huh. to make a report, normal report from yes. this city. I know, I knew it was dangerous, but I was hoping that um, maybe I can do something about the civilians there, what was going on with them. How do they think about this fight? These armed people, what did they do to them? Because I've, I've been in, in such places for many, many times. And I know the, that the situation that is important for me as a journalist is what, what about the civilians there. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I noticed that there are no civilians in this city. Just maybe, I saw seven at the yes. entrance mm -hmm. of the city, only seven. And all the other were fighters? Uh, all fighters, all mm. fighters. How much about? Uh, I don't know, but you first know. I saw about uh, uh, when, when they kidnapped us. Yes. They took us to some uh, center of them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, just, it used to be, or it was supposed to be a school. It mm -hmm. was not completely built, but it was supposed to be a school. Uh, They occupied it, and um, about 700, 500, 700, almost uh, about this. Then I knew that there are more places for them. But, uh, they are people from this town, or they come from different towns? Oh, oh, 
different towns and different countries. And different countries. Yeah, I heard someone speaking Libyan. Yes. And I heard about someone, uh, some people walked by us, you know, yes. they just screamed, shouted, hated us. <laughs> And um, one of them, when they left, one of the people around me were talking about Saudi person between yes, them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I did not notice him because mm -hmm. all the same, uh, without monsters. Yes. Just. Uh, We'd be off. Just. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and like Salafists. Uh, yeah, like mm -hmm. Salafists. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them actually, his name was Salafi. Yes. His name and his group was the Salafi group. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, they have uh, all them. All of them had guns, um, mm. clashing cuffs, yes. extra BKC. I don't mm. know the names of the, oh, the guns, but they yes. told me. They mm -hmm. told me about it. And um, they they interrupted the car when yes. they, when we entered the city. They interrupted the car. They locked the door for some civilians six, seven civilians were screaming that please let them free, please let them go. Mm -hmm. They put the gun in the head of some women. Stop! Mm -hmm. This is our business. And they took us with them. They were uh, about 10, 15 armed person. Mm -hmm. um, first they took us out of the car. They hit us. Uh, they slapped me on yes, the yes. face. And I was on the on the ground, and um, they tied the hands of my mm -hmm. friends. They did not do anything to me because I'm I'm a woman without mm. hijab, yes. so I'm um, <laughs> you know I'm disgusting. Yes. Um, but they uh, they took us into the car. They yes. put our faces like this at me mm -hmm. because my friends were on the. Uh, on the oh, ground on the, of, on the, uh, yes, of the, the car, yes. you know, between the seats. Yes. Uh, we, they took us to some place, I don't know where, I don't know what. Mm -hmm. I saw a building, uh, yeah, almost complete building, walls, you know, mm -hmm. roof, but nothing else. No doors, no windows. They put us into a room and every, almost 100 person were inside with us in this room. Uh, I don't know, 15, 50 or, or 70, 75, I don't know uh, you, you about mean, this. You mean no, no, all the fighters? No, 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 or the, fighters the fighters, yes. almost uh, 75 or 50, I don't know the number, but all of them were hitting my friends, screaming in my face, uh, spilling in my face, you mm -hmm. know, saying bad words, where are you from, my religions, all, all, the first question, where are you from? What's your religion? Mm -hmm. um, do you support Bashar al-Assad? Do you support the government? All the questions were about this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in, a, in a video, they said later with you that uh, uh, some civilians were killed by uh, yeah. the army, by bombing from the army. They and, forced uh, me to say that. And including they said uh, one member of your team they asked him to make video and he was killed by a, a shilling from the army. No, uh, first when they uh, arrested us or yes. kidnapped us, uh, they took my, they took our uh, mobile phone. Um, they searched the mobiles and they found uh, some video for the uh, uh, army trainings. Yes. And they said that uh, you support the army, the Syrian army. Mm -hmm. uh, so they took him with them, with the driver, the uh, cameraman assistant who were killed, yes. uh, who was killed, and the uh, driver, they took them, both, and I heard the guns, the bullets, and then the driver came back alone, I asked him what happened to Hatem, he said they killed him, mm -hmm. I was, I was, when they took him, them, I was screaming that take me and let them go. Just take me. Your problem yes, is with yes. me. I'm the reporter. I'm I'm the one who is making these reports. Uh, they did not. They said that we are going to punish you, but mm. yourself alone. They they took the man. They killed him. How they treat you, and the other members of your team. How they deal with you. So bad. 
so bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry to say that, but one of them wanted to rape me. Mm-hmm. But they have selfies, no? They, they, they uh, the, be, between the, themselves, yeah, yes. they pray, they, they read Quran. Uh, one of them were, was, uh, you know, just guarder for yes. us not to escape. And uh, he did not pray. Mm-hmm. Alone, just when the he, he he thinks that the army is close and he's going to be die, he he just go, go and pray. Okay. Uh, otherwise, no. And he is the one who tried to rape me. Mm-hmm. I did not let him. Uh, in the text they, they read, they said also that. Uh, they demand to the, uh, uh, to the government to withdraw the checkpoints so that the people of the town could enter inside I know the all town. The yes. No, what does that mean, in fact? In fact, that, mean, uh, that means they wanted to have more, more weapons because they were out of weapons in, yes. some, in some time. So they were waiting another group. Yeah, they and were. They, need to they had contact with uh, outside. They have the uh, uh, satellite internet. Oh, you have satellite internet. Yeah, so they, they have satellite have mobile also. I, I think yes, so. Course. I think, mm-hmm. but not in uh, the places we, they put us into yes. because you know we were in this room, small, very yes, small yes. rooms in in, in most uh, so places. They, they received some instruction from outside, including the text they read on the video. Did you know who gives them the? The orders. They said something about the council. I don't know what council. Council. Yeah, but outside, he said I could. I, I spoke to a person, but not the real names. You know, yes. they they say names like, uh, for example, uh, Abu Muawiyah. Don't uh-huh, know yes, who yes, is yes, it. Yes, yes. Uh, but in in Saudi, he said that I spoke to my friends in in Qatar. They said that I spoke to Turkey. They said that um, a lot of things we heard it on the uh, machine, you know, the uh, yes. Toki Woki. I don't know. Uh, we we heard a lot of names, a lot of hmm. things. Okay. Um, and uh, why did you wear this veil during the video? They said that. Um, I have to wear it because it's according to Islam. I have to wear it. Uh, oh, you mean to, that to the cover to cover yourself, to just. Oh, so you you mean the the main political program of these people is to put veil on your on your head? Uh, the mm. main uh, the main condition were to put this on my head because uh, they had I told you they had this uh, uh, sheikh. Yes. And uh, the Salafi, the Salafi group, and the I had to wear to wear this, okay. and even my my uh, shirt, your, uh, your my arms. Jeep, yes, I, I have to cover them. I I, I was wearing this. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, did you discuss uh, politics with them? I spoke to many. If of yes. them, but from the you know the people, not the leaders. Yes, from yes. just just yes, the yes, normal yes. armed people. Well, the normal armed people. They they know what they nothing. want exactly. They, they don't. They think that with this uh, gun yes. or flashing off, they can uh, fight the regime. Yes, but just why? Like this. Why they want? They want to die regime. because they want to go to Al Jana. They want to go to the, to God when to, to the heaven. Us to the heaven, because but if they die, they, they go to heaven. Yes, but why they want to reverse this regime? Uh, b- because uh, a, the leader is, some of them said that the leader is uh, Alawi. Is Alawi, yes. And some so that's of only them, a religious uh, reason. Uh, some of them said yes. that. Some of them said that uh, 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 I want to fight because this is the jihad. Uh-huh. And I, I uh, want to go to But who, who decide the jihad? What? Who, who take this decision? This is jihad. 
there are the uh, a sheikh. Which the, one? Uh, the, I don't know the names. You don't know. I don't know the names. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know the names. Okay. And just like this. First day they did not bring food until mm -hmm. one or two a.m. Yes. They brought food. Just eat. Mm -hmm. and it was. It was not good. <laughs> I couldn't eat because mm -hmm. my friend had just died. So I feed it for this little cat. Mm -hmm. uh, it slipped in with you me. Have a cat with you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I, I, th I, sh it was thirsty, so I put the water in my in my, yes. and I mm. made her drink. Mm -hmm. huh? And um, at the end of the story, how it happened? How the the army will uh, free you in this situation? Uh, I think the army interrupted their connections oh. because they knew that we are going to be moved from this city to another one. To, to another city. We have to pass this mountain. Uh -huh. So we were going there with small trees and you know, no buildings, nothing. Yes. And we were going one after one, one after one, you know. And I was close to someone who he said something about when we have this fighting face to face with the army I'm gonna put the gun in your head and threaten them that I will kill you if they did not let us go blah 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 especially you you're a woman they they worry about you and uh, they took us and uh, then a light pump yes. a light just light it did not make any explosion or something yes, it yes, goes yeah. up and it'll just light yes and guns Uh -huh. all over the way from the top of the mountain down <coughs> I saw the light I was natural on the, fl the floor you on know the on the floor. ground on the ground in the, uh, in the ground yes uh, I was like this waiting the, and the gun well, just uh, disappeared then another light but in between I just moved myself because I saw the gun is going from the top down so I moved myself here You yes. know, in some place that I have some uh, some ground, I don't know, some mm -hmm. small mountain or hill, and I move, I move myself until it finished, and I was thinking they tried to take me with them, and I was like, I don't want to, and then the light comes, so they escape, they yes, just yes, uh, yes. they hide. When the light goes, they escape, just like this. And I did not know what happened to my friends because I couldn't see them. And uh, but I was surprised that uh, the I I was uh, I was in this one side of them, the line, you know. I was walking, and the ground it was not perfect for me. And I'm a woman, so I was in in one side, and uh, the the uh, gun. I think something about the back, not the front of them. They were shooting at the back of them, not mm -hmm. the, the front. And they were escaping. I, I stayed in my place. That's what uh, Abud, my, my friend Abdullah, did. Yes. Uh, the same. But they could to take the uh, the driver with them, Hassan. So I, I stayed in my place for like 20 minutes. And the... Uh, everything stopped no voices so I started scream that I knew it's Syrian army yes I started scream that I'm I'm uh, Syrian news uh -huh. and they said uh -huh. Yara we knew it, that you were there uh -huh. just come here we're sorry for the, all the dangerous but we had to set you free uh -huh. come here and they took me with them and I was crying uh -huh. first that my friends are still there he said no Abdullah is with us Okay. You know, mm -hmm. we we just did the natural thing that we thought me and Abdullah that we thought it's it's normal, but it's what we should do, and it was completely what the army was thinking about. You know, they they just um. watched us until we are in the middle, and they uh, shoot the back the, f the back not the front, you know, so we stayed here safe. We did not go back did not die and we stayed here until yes, everything yes. finished and then we went to the army. Uh, according to military sources uh, during this fight there was about uh, 200 fighters who were killed and uh, the other escape 
fight? Uh, the win the fighters who were trying to escape. Yes. About two hundred fifty or three hundred. Hmm. Okay. And but uh, I I don't know. But they every day they come and they say that a lot of our fighters died. Uh, uh -huh. A lot of our fighters died. Mm. I I heard them talking about three hundred, four hundred. I don't know. You know numbers, but not from the leaders. The leaders yes. did not speak to us mm -hmm. at all, just for to to read on us. And every ten minutes, someone comes inside and says, "We will kill you," just like uh, this. The five minutes later, someone comes and says, uh, "No, we will set you free. Don't worry." Don't worry. No, this yeah, you're always uh, changing uh, uh, to play with your, with your nails. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. in, in a, a very bad, very 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 bad way. Someone someone of them said that I'm gonna cut you into pieces, throw you to, for dogs to eat you. Um, I asked one of them, what if uh, the government or the yes. army respond all your conditions? What are you going to do? Yes. He said. We're gonna keep you with us because we want to ask for more. Uh -huh. He said that. Like that. He said we will ask for more. So now you are free. You know that uh, in Europe a lot of people try to help you. They they wrote to to President Hollande saying uh, we know you are in contact with the, the Free Syrian Army and you have to uh, demand the, them to to free Yara. Did, did you have something to say to all these people who try to, to help you as they can from Europe? Uh, I want to say thank you very much. Um, um, finally, I'm free. The, um, of course, the Syrian army are my heroes, but uh, you are too. Thank you very much. I knew that uh, because of your support, because of your praise I, I I'm, I'm free now thank you I hope mm. no one in the world will be in this in such experience because it was so bad believe me it was so bad I missed the sun I missed my parents I missed everyone but finally I'm free thank God especially for girls I hope that you will never be in such situation thank you you're welcome